Beautiful love. Good morning. This morning I'm on the uh, bus to Tottenham, the gold bus uh, from Plymouth to Totnes. Oh, we should probably take about an hour. I'm going to walk on the river. So let's see how it goes. This is Plymouth Bondar Church from the Second World War. Now here's the reminder monument. Here and look over the river. There's a disused railway line which has turned into a walkway and cycle path. And Chelsea Meadow, which used to be a rubbish tip but over the right hand side, which is that grass area. A new housing development over the right here. So I'm just highlighting this on my trip to Totnes because Sherford is like a new town which is not too far from Plymouth which has uh, been built up uh, over the last three or four years. And the title on the gateway to Sherford is Sherford Building the Future. Just coming out of Sherford now back into the countryside. I'm now in Totnes and that was the painting bus from Plymouth, it was the gold bus. So let's go. That's Totnes town. We're going to walk along the river, as mentioned before. I've only done it once before when it was in the winter, so I wanted to record it whilst it's fine and nice with beautiful views. Well, this fountain in Totnes was erected for the Diamond Jubilee of Queen Victoria. What, while I'm looking for it, we're, we're still hoping. Well, the good thing about these walks, you meet some great people on the trips and I met some great people on the bus coming through from Plymouth and we're on the right hand side of the river now in Totnes and we're going to follow it for about two hours, see where we go and then I'm going to head back to Plymouth. So let's go. And there's a ferry going down the river. I think that's an old capstan. So we're swinging right off the river now, then we're going to hit the road, then we'll turn left. Look at all these beautiful colours. That wall looks very Roman. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, very nice. Blue flowers.
we're swinging off to the right now to uh, follow the river. And this is a Baltic wolf. I wonder if they used to sail to the Baltic Sea. So there's a building site here and we swing off to the right to get onto the public footpath. If you're not aware of it, then it's a bit difficult to find. I had to fill my memory back to last time I was here in February. Busy industrial area, this, uh, but we'll soon be out of all of this and it should be quiet. And then get into the scenery. Just put my one fratto down a minute. That's interesting, there's a games area there, little park area in the middle of nowhere. It's nearly half past 11 in the morning, so I'll carry on walking till about half past one, then walk back. And that'll get me into Plymouth at about five, six o'clock. Even though we've had a run of dry weather during the last couple of weeks, this area is just a little bit muddy and I'm in trainers. But careful. Dropping down closer to the river now. I love to go wandering along the mountainside. And as I go, I love to sing with an upset on my back. Follery, follera, follery, follera, follery, with an upset on my back. Oh. We're coming out the first of the wooded areas now. I don't think we've got another major one or not. I've only done this route once before, like I said. I was in the early season. It was really panoramic news further on. The last time I did this walk, I got to Ashington House and I thought I might be able to walk on the river and see where it goes. But I've just been talking to some people, some uh, oldish people, and uh, one lady must have been in this 
70s, it's nearly 80, and she was doing very well to be along this 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 track. And they were saying that uh, after Ashington House, it becomes private land, so you can't walk any further without catching a car to go to a different section of the river. So I'll just play it by ear today. If you just get to Ashington House, then never mind. You take the high road and I'll take the low road and I'll be in Totnes before you. Look at this ribbon. That's obviously an orienteering sort of ribbon thing. Hello. Another orienteering ribbon I've just passed. Think pink. Most people are from Yorkshire that are in front of me. Even your dogs can scare farm animals, so please keep them under a lead or keep them under control. Musgrave Heritage Trail, John Musgrave Heritage Trail, we're on. I'll just check up who that is. So I've taken the lower track, so I'm not taking the easy route in the field. Then we swing left here. Look at the scenery, beautiful. Can't beat wild grass, and now they realise that it's more important to keep nature as wild as possible. That was the wild public uh, footpath, and now we come on to uh, tarmac path. 
and the arrow going in the opposite direction. See the marsh reeds that there in the river in the background. We're just about to go into Sharpham House grounds and they're rewilding the area. So getting it back to its traditional natural habitat. And that goes for the animal for the animals as well. It's very dark water there, very reddish soil there. in the way of signs. Shapson House, one mile, we go there. Uh, Top Nest, we've just done two miles. And Shipperington, which is a mile in that direction. Sharpham Estates Heritage Trail, which is what we're on now. And now Sharpham Marsh, where you have rising tides and deep water. Caution, deep water, rising tides, seen that before. It's like a maze, isn't it? So peaceful. It's my talk. That's interesting. So that was the marsh and reed beds just off the River Dart on a subsidiary stream area. Um, we're going to walk up towards the house now. So Sharpham House is only open to the public once a year and it's next weekend. But I'll be away somewhere else on Saturday.
was well worth deviating and following that to uh, read bed uh, footpath. If you look down right in front, you can just about see a track there, and it leads to this little doorway which goes through the fence. I wonder what sort of animals this cage is for. Nice animal drinking trough, no water in it though. This is where the river dart starts getting beautifully scenic. As you walk towards the house, we're going onto higher ground and the river dot becomes a lot more panoramic and spectacular to look at. So we're nearly at Shelfham House now and this will be the end of the walk for today. Don't let cattle shed there. Asbestos roofing as well by the looks of it. They're rewilding, so you've got to protect the pigs. What's going on here? Lots of wool. I think this goes down to the old bathing area. By the house.
this is the furthest we're going to go today. So we're now back on the River Dart. Believe it or not, cruise, little uh, cruise ships come up here. There's an old ramp for lowering the boat into the water, I presume, obviously. So it's now half past one in the afternoon and I've walked from Totnes to Ashford House and it's now time to walk back and it'll take probably an hour and a half, two hours and then back to Plymouth. It looks like the reedy area is used for meditation. I just, just met a lady whilst I was sunbathing down there and she was staying at a retreat at the top of the hill uh, for a few days where she could learn to meditate properly. And a lot of people seem to need that these days. I've been on holiday I was talking all the way Every fascination comes with a price in your heart. Do you like to say that you don't like to have fun? You can't say that I'm so bad all the time. Cause I Give you time And I Give you life In this world The steps that you take The moves that you make In your eyes I fantasize deep within the lies every night I see in your eyes what you fantasize all the time I want to hold you tight and make you see tonight it's alright cause I've been on holiday I was talking all the way Thanks to the people I met on the bus and in Totnes. Had some great chats. Music on this video is with great thanks by Chris Oxen from Facebook. 30 years of culture and the arts as a free service on Love Sometime TV. Don't forget to friendly share my videos, subscribe to my channel and support me through PayPal at ccsphoto1 at gmail.com. Thanks for watching the video.